So I recently saw my wife's bunt cake baking dish and I thought that that was pretty cool geometry. Maybe we can replicate it in a Libre. So let's go through how to make a baking dish like this in a Libre. Let's start off by selecting our top plane or our XZ plane and activate a sketch. We'll create a circle whose diameter is about, uh, let's go six inches. We'll do an extrude. I'll reverse the direction and five is a fine default for that. Let's create a plane off the ZX plane and we'll offset it by 1.125. And we'll sketch on it. I'll create a circle. We'll give this a diameter of 1.125. We'll offset this vertically from the uh, origin. Let's go with a distance of one and three quarters horizontally. With that fully constrained, we'll deactivate. We'll create a uh, helix. Probably only need a height of about two, and in fact, Looks like I'll need an axis to revolve around. So let's cancel this. Create an axis at the intersection of this plane and this plane. So where they intersect, we'll insert an axis. Now let's go with our subtractive helix. We'll select this circle to revolve. Probably need a height of about two and an axis. We'll select right there. We can uh, reverse this. And maybe I'll up that pitch to make it more of a sharp angle. I'll go with something like four. I'll accept that. Now we can always uh, play with our dimensions in our sketch and our revolve to see if we can uh, get different geometry that we like. Maybe I'll try 1.25. We get a little bit of a deeper uh, part there. I think I like that. So let's go with a circular pattern. Maybe we'll go with 18 and see how that looks. We'll choose our center as the Y axis here. And that, that kind of looks like a bunt cake to me. So I think we've made some good progress. From here, I can select this plane. And I'll start a sketch. Perhaps I'd like to have a lip around my bunt cake sheet. So we'll create a reference figure with maintained association. We'll create a rectangle now. We'll give this 0.0625. I'm, I'm choosing that because that's a 16 gauge stainless steel sheet. So it's a kind of a standard dimension if you're working with sheet metal, but you can choose any dimension you want, of course. We'll give this dimension uh, 0.1, seems fine. We'll deactivate, let's uh, revolve. And we'll, we will revolve around our Y axis, just like that. Uh, from here, maybe I can choose a fillet. I'll choose this face. We're at 0.25. Maybe I can reduce that to 0.125. I'll choose this interface as well. I'll select uh, apply before it gets too busy. And then I may want to try a smaller fillet on these sharp edges. Maybe 0.75. Indeed, I am the fastest fillet applier in the West. Let's uh, maybe add one more circle here. Maybe two and a half. Maybe 2.25. That looks about right. We'll deactivate, extrude, maybe we can go a distance of three. So as you guessed it, all of this down here is unnecessary. Uh, we're kind of planning on this being stamped or formed and maybe this face right here might constitute a second piece. It's the second piece on my wife's. If you want it all in one piece, you could probably get away with a draft of some kind. Oh, and I almost forgot, let's add a fillet. there. And maybe I can come down here, select these faces. We're going to say shell. I 
and we'll say 0.0625 like we were planning on. And there we were able to shell out the bottom. So this represents one piece. Of course, you can make alterations to really make it yours, depending on how you would hypothetically make this. But this is a good representation, I think, of my wife's bundt cake dish. I think this model would sure make her smile. So I uh, hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the Libra channel, and we'll see you in the next video.